here we go day one of day in the life or day in the week i don't know day in the life basically i'm gonna bring you on our journey show you what we do on a weekly basis in the week by the way fyi it's a bit boring because we're always in the office and because nothing happens until the weekend but this is an exciting week because this weekend coming up now what are we now can't even remember it's the last day of october so it's 31st of october so in it's monday so on sunday we're off to Warsaw for the first competition of the season which is UDE Dance Fever at the Hub, which is part of the incredibly cool events, uh, part of their little thing. Part of their event schedule. It's their first event, it's, yeah, gonna be an exciting one. It's just a dance only event. We'll head up there on Sunday. Well, we're going there Saturday night, actually, just to set up the studio. And then we'll come back, pick up Adam, go on Sunday, but Saturday, so jumping back this is a bit mis mix and match but yeah jumping back saturday we're going to the rugby club to do a team photo to then do a couple of photos of their team or a couple of photos of the match depends on how uh depends how quick the depends what time it starts because we have to be in warsaw for four that they kick off, I think, at half two. So we might get like half hour of the game and then head to Warsaw. But anyway, first things first, got to go to the post office. So, yeah, let's go see Jay. content, photos, film, audio, you name it, that's what we're doing, but yeah, you're going to join us on the journey of our season, which starts this weekend, as I explained earlier, and um, yeah, a few other things in there as well, so we're photographing schools majority of this week, so I can take you along, but obviously I can't film in there due to safeguarding, but I'll film along the way and do what I can. Um, what else we got? I've got a meeting down the rugby club tomorrow. Then we're getting Tom on camera. He probably won't like it, but he ain't got a choice. <laughs> so Tom is the sponsorship director. director. Ooh, ooh. Sponsorship coordinator for the rugby club. And all he ever does is hassle me for stuff. So we'll go see him. See what he's up to, see what he wants. And then continue with schools, continue with design, continue with photos, and then on Saturday, a bit of uh, photos at the Red Club, and on to the first competition of the season. We're just pulling up to the office now. Should 
never let this go. No, we were the catch on the summer nights. Kids in the street that got it right. Every time I felt like Today, we're here in the office and um, no one else is in at the minute. It's just me. So, to clean it all up, we are JPAD Media, but I have a desk in with a company called Green Umbrella Marketing. So we cohabit, not cohabit, I basically, we have a desk with them. Just um, used to have an office and used to have a studio, but COVID, we had to get rid of the studio to save money because we had no work. And then had an office afterwards, but well, had the studio, had to get rid of the studio because of COVID and no work, ETC, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then happened to be doing some work for the owner of Green Umbrella. And Christina, lovely lady, should be on the podcast later on in the year. So uh, keep your eyes open for that. Very insightful lady. But yeah, so I was doing some work for her and it made sense, like the work that I was doing, I was sat next to her. So ended up sharing an office with her for throughout COVID and up until, when was it? Start of 2022, where I took, we took advantage of the Kickstarter scheme, which was basically, it was helping employ, let's move it here a little bit. It, it was helping to employ those that are age um, from 16 to 24 on like struggling to get work. So took advantage of that. We had Ollie for three months, but then unfortunately I had to let him go. So he moved on and um, yeah, then it was just me and Malone in the office, which it was great because I was able to get loads done and um, I had everything there, like all mounts and everything for orders and stuff. So I was able to do that. However, one thing about being a business owner gets very lonely, very lonely. So I was basically doing some work for Christina again and yeah, she said about moving back in, having a bit of banner. So that's exactly what I did, and I've been in here since August now, which is nice. There is, she has, she sits next to me, and then she has a PA Kim there, and then all of her minions are over there. We've got Mark, who's a designer, and got Jane, who's the manager, like operations manager, so she handles all like peeps. And then you got Molly May, who's the sweetest thing. I, I'll get her on the video, you'll see why. Um, and then Nicole. If she comes on the video, pre-warn you. Yeah. She's a character. She's a good character though, good character. Anyway, I better turn the computer on and then get some work done. Let's, um, I'll just, I spend most of the morning checking the emails. And then it's, on to, yeah, doing, fulfilling my to-do list. It's great though. Look at this, guys. Oh, it's like paper gold. It's the first running order of the season. Can't even flick it right. Way first running order of the season. It's gonna be a good one. It's quite nice as well, because it's nice to see teams that we haven't seen before on the running order. Meet new people and all that jazz. We love it. Let's get some coffee. Just been uh, checking the diary, and when we're not doing events, like we freelance to school companies and like graduations. And uh, at the minute, it's school season. Like everyone's getting their school photos ready for Christmas, ready to send to grandma. 
I've just checked my diary, and you're supposed to stick to an area. area. Plymouth. I've got a school in Plymouth. I'm based in the Midlands, and they're sending me to Plymouth. So, uh, let's have a look at that bad boy. See what's going on there. Okay. Oh, okay. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. And uh, you got it. There he is. There's little Mole. Oh no, I'm doing a Molly. <laughs> <laughs> this is called a Molly. Hold on, wait, let's get the full angle. And we've got the same jump on route pretty much. That's it, isn't it? Oh no, it's the top. Yeah. <laughs> so what, is this going on YouTube then? It is going on YouTube. Have a good weekend, Nicole. Um, yeah, I did thanks. Yeah. Went to do some Halloween bits and then... <laughs> and then did some painting. Some painting? What did you paint? Okay. <laughs> what, paint by numbers or? <laughs> no, you just from scratch. Well, she's good at them. Oh, yeah. Them. No, let's have a look. I haven't finished this one. Yeah, but I want to see it. Have you ever done one of these? Yeah, please. A little, um... Oh, I can post it. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, there's Sol. Oh, that's cool. There's Wally. Wally. I've never watched that film before. Oh, that's a life lesson, that film. We were talking about this in the week. They warned us about climate change in, like, in our childhood to get us to recycle. What, through Wally? Yeah, because it's all about, like, basically the Earth. It's just yeah, and they all have to live in the spaceship. Yeah, because it's just a bunch of garbage on Earth. Because they ruined it and killed the planet. So they're living in a spaceship where they basically, it's like, it's like the metaverse. It is, isn't yeah. it? Because they're literally sat in chairs and just have a TV and they're just like and hovering. They, they don't walk, they don't do, they get really fat because they don't have to walk. Yeah. Oh, mate, I need to watch it. Is the media not watching? No, she's hooked on long hair. Tangled. That one. Not like that one, no. Oh, it came out way before she was born. 2007, eh? I'm gonna guess. Yeah, she was 16. Oh, wow. 2016, she wasn't no. 16. Wow, 2016, what a great year, Amelia. Oh. Love I love 2016. Why, what did you do in 2016? It's a good year. No. Like, I love the music and, oh. Um, <laughs> no. No. What is it, rank? Have you not, did you not see that? I've drank from that. Oh no, oh no. Uh, why oh, do they no. do it? Oh, no. Should that I pour is, it away? That, you can see the clumps in the bottle. Uh. Oh, is it eyes? It's the eyes. Do you remember when that happened in the art? Oh, maybe that was my fault. I did turn up the fridge last week. <laughs> it's day two of filming because yesterday we were at a primary school. What well, I say we, I was. Um, and can't film in there. Now I'm at a high school in Gloucester where yeah gonna photograph we got 30 classes to photograph today I'm with Selena and I'm dropping the phone so that's all good I'm with Selena so um yeah it should be a fun day probably gonna be here all day photographing away ready for all the parents to have a look at their photos in their brand school new uniform even though it's November so it's not brand new anymore but yeah it's there uh, like the year sixes that have moved to year seven it's getting all those kind of photos and i mean we've all been to school so you know the kind of photos that it is and then yeah it's now how many days is it four days till the first competition of the season which we cannot wait for a little reminder if you weren't paying attention it is in Walsall and it's ude dance fever had the running order come through from the lovely vicky last night um yeah it looks like a, a very busy day so it should be fun and uh, yeah, we'll keep you updated and see what's going on when Celine gets in. Oh, we're here in Warsaw at the Herb, ready to set up for UDE Dance Fever. Currently gonna, we're upstairs on the first floor where 
warm up's going to take place, so I'm about to put the studio up, ready for the team performances and the solos to come in, have their photo before they start warming up, where they'll go into stretch, which is through this way. It's a bit darker in it. Ooh. Oh, look, I look like I've got a spotlight on my face. On my face, look at that. Nice bit of traffic in all sorts of night. But um, yeah, so we're getting ready. And then the guys are downstairs setting up the dance floor. We'll crack on, set up, and uh, get ready for tomorrow. Like a ghost town. There's no one about. What's going on? This is what you want if you wanna go. I love to go and let it breathe. But I'll be waiting here, you see. I don't know if everything will be alright. Sometimes you gotta let go. All clear. I'll wash my hair from the mud Feeling a bit old, mate. I'm feeling really old, mate. Yeah, very old. Oh, I've never done the stairs, right? Okay, what you said. Do it, it's not too bad going down. I can't run. I can't run. Why can't you run? I'm injured. Why are you injured, mate? Because you're getting old. At 37, I think I can still play 11 aside football on Saturday. <laughs> It is actually the end of day one in the studio and it was Selena's first time with us. How have you found it, my dears? Very, very good, thank you. Yeah, would you come again? Definitely. Yeah? Yes, Not yes, sure. definitely. Have you enjoyed the conga? I have. We've enjoyed the conga together. We've enjoyed we've the conga. Did a little bit of this, did yeah. a little bit of that. <laughs> what an epic day that really was. Back home now, we're getting all the photos uploaded so everyone can have a look. Um, obviously, this is... The first video of the vlog so apologies if it's a bit short there's bits missing i know like for when i was doing the schools it's it's very tricky like i said we'll meet selena but we didn't because it is very tricky to catch her because i'm so gun and everything like that so we can't um video in the schools yeah we've done the competition now we've got rotherham portrait day to look forward to which is always fun we'll film the journey onto that that's probably when the second week will start because then it builds up so we'll have Rotherham portrait day and then it'll be our final week of schools for the season which will take us to the Plymouth job cannot wait for that I looked at it and it's about a six hour journey but yeah so it'll be our last week of school schools and then we go from straight this like get this right so I'm going to Plymouth I drive home, which is about six hours to my house from the school that I'm going to. So that's going to be fun. And then I go to sleep. And then once I wake up, we're waking up bright and early because I drive from my house to Glasgow, which is another six, six and a half hours. 
So that's going to be fun. But that's for the first competition of the season, which is Saw Rise. So it's the first competition for Saw, which cannot wait for. Like Lauren has been working very hard on it. So cannot wait to see all the performances and capture them on camera. And then, yeah, that will take us up to Scotland. And that will probably be the next video. And then we'll continue with even more. We've got showcases, we've got competitions, we've got loads more like of our creative sis where we help gyms and uh, event providers all over the country with their marketing and their creative design and content creation, all that kind of thing in the background when we're not at competition or out doing a photo shoot, that's what we do. So yeah, we'll take you on the journey and yeah, I hope you enjoyed it guys. So give us a like, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell to get notified every time the videos come out. There's going to be a lot more stuff coming out. We've got more podcasts. We've got more information, more tips and tricks. So yeah, stay on us, stay on, stay on us, stay on this journey with us and uh, more exciting things to come. In the meantime, though, guys, keep it wicked and we'll see you very soon. Bye.